Hello everyone and welcome to My Organized Life where I'm trying to get my life organized. If you're new to the channel, a huge hello and welcome to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for being here. So tomorrow is payday, so that means today we are going to be going through and closing out the budget. And then later on today, I'm also going to be going through and closing out the month of May, which I'm excited to do, although I know things are going to look crazy and you'll see why in um, <laughs> this week's budget. So with that being said, let's dive on in. So this is my budget binder. So I prefer to use a binder because I can take things out, move things around, I can add pages um, just to make it more functional and suit my own personal needs, make it easier for myself, track what I want to. I just like the versatility and customization that a binder allows. Um, I do use the budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. So of course I bought the PDF version, that way I could put it in here. And then this is just a cheap $4 dollar store binder that I used some paper from Michaels to kind of glam up. And it's super nice because if I get tired of looking at this cover, which I doubt I ever will because it's like my favorite color. Um, this blue is just gorgeous. I love the quotes and everything, but I can just easily slip this out and put something new in, which is really awesome. So I like that. Okay, so we're going to flip to May. So this is what the monthly overview or dashboard overview or whatever you want to call this is. This was everything that happened in May or that I planned to happen. This is how much we saved, which was super exciting. This is such a huge amount. I probably will not have another month like this throughout the year, but it is awesome. So this is the budget we worked out and I'm going to be honest, I have not been I have not been on top of my budget as much as I should, so I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be. I do know that a lot of this is going to look insane, and you'll see why as we get into it. Um, this one was pretty spot on. I was $1.20 off from this paycheck, which is not bad. So we'll see how it is for this budget. Okay, so before we get into closing the paycheck, there's just a couple things that we're going to do first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be going through um, Walmart MasterCard transactions. So this is everything we had from the first half of the paycheck. There is a lot. Um, since I've pretty much got my MasterCard paid down to where I want it, um, I'm going to be using it a little bit more, just more responsibly. Um, I did decide that, however, instead of putting on random payments throughout the month, I'm just going to do all of my purchases and then just keep putting the money that I need to put on the card in an envelope and maybe just putting all of it off um, just before the paycheck closes or something like that. That way it's a little bit easier to keep track of and it's not all over the place like this because this is just a little bit too chaotic. So we ended on the 28th with HP Instant Ink and the unfortunate thing about my credit card is some of these charges were pending so now they're kind of on different dates now that they're approved. So just going by what it has, so we've got $15.99 and 419, both of these say they happened on the 28th. So I've already got those down and then I had two more that it says happened on the 28th. So I did have a purchase at Pet Value. And this was for dog food. So this was $94.49. And then also, um, I have a PSN purchase of $42.99. That was it for the 28th then on the 29th. So I had two more PSN transactions. So there was another $42.99 one. And when I'm, I might have to contact my card company because I don't think I should have two purchases that are the exact same for two different dates. So I have a feeling that something's wrong here. One of these say that it's pending and one is approved. So I have a feeling that this might be the same purchase. I'm just not sure why it's showing up twice. We're gonna have to see what I end with and I'm gonna decide from there whether I need to contact the, these guys, but I'm a little bit concerned about this. So the other, amount was $26.99. So these two were for V-Bucks on Fortnite, I believe. So I'm just going to put V-Bucks here. Um, so I bought these because the Marshmallow Bundle came out on Fortnite. If you don't know who Marshmallow is, he's a DJ. Super awesome. Absolutely love his music. Um, we've been playing Fortnite since December and Marshmallow came out 
a few months before we started playing and we were all obsessed with him. So we've been planning to get the marshmallow bundle as soon as it's come out. It's nothing that we've saved up for, unfortunately. So it was just kind of a um, upfront cost. So of course, all three of us um, got it on our Fortnite accounts. So that's what this was for. So even though this is quite a big splurge, I am totally okay with this because this has been planned for well over a year. And then let's see, now we're up to June. So June 1st, these are all for June 1st. Um, so this was another PSN, this was for games. And it was $51.97. So the games that we bought, there was um, a Lego Harry Potter game that was on sale for $6.99, it was like 70% off. So. I uh, got that because Carbon absolutely loves the Lego games and I really like letting him play those games because you do really have to search around and be creative with them so I do like these ones and then I also bought this cute little zombie game for him and then we did buy um, what we thought was a full game which turned out to be a map for a game so we needed the game as well so I contacted them and got them to refund me for that because I had no use for it so we'll see that coming back as a payment of $39.99. So this is a PSN refund. So I know where all of these PSN costs are except for this one. This one is the one that has me stumped. And again, I'm not really sure how this is going to add up. Okay, and then my Scrawler Box subscription came out and it was $35.20. I thought it was less than that for this subscription. The last one we have, I put a $200 payment to cover the majority of this stuff. And that is that. So of course this page is completely filled up and as I start using my Walmart MasterCard more, um, we're gonna need more room. So I did print off this. This was a notes page from the Budget by Paycheck workbook and I hate wasting paper. I hardly ever use the note pages so I decided to print the expense tracker over top of it and it didn't work out the best but I, th I think I'm okay with it. Um, hopefully it's not too hard on your guys' eyes. But So since it's the end of the month, um, I'm tracking this from my May paycheck. So my first May paycheck was the seventh, so I'm tracking it up to today because it's the last day of that paycheck. Um, and then I like to go through and decide which ones were splurge buys, which ones were necessity, and I like to figure out my purchases versus my payments to see how much I actually paid off the card. Um, so we're gonna go through and do that as well, but first we're gonna add this stuff up. Okay, so I have two running totals here, so I have my usable balance and my owing balance. So of course the owing is how much I owe and then the usable is how much I have available to use. So we were doing really good here. <laughs> so let's see, um, I'm gonna start with the owing. So we left off owing $108.87. So every time I make a purchase, I owe more. So all of the withdrawals get added, all of the deposits get subtracted. Okay, so 94.49, so we're gonna add 94.49. So this is 203.36. Two 246.35, I'm just gonna make note in pencil here, that way I can erase it. So I'm gonna star this and write pending question mark because I don't think this charge should be on there. I'm not sure what happened. I did contact PSN on in their records. They're only showing one charge for the $42.99. So um, if when I add all of this up, if it matches what my Walmart MasterCard is currently saying, then I know that there's an issue and I'm gonna have to call them. However, if this doesn't quite match, then I know that this probably is not actually on there. It's showing up, but it's not affecting the total because it's not really there if that makes sense, but we'll see.
there's everything added up there. So my limit is $100. So my owing plus my usable should, or sorry, my limit is $1,000. So my owing plus my usable should equal 1,000. So we're just gonna check that here. So we've got the usable, we're gonna add 163.51. So that equals 1,000. This, however, does kind of match. It says my available credit is 835.44. So 836.49 minus what it says, 835.44. Okay, so this is off by a dollar and five cents, which is weird. It's just weird because this is exactly how much cash I was off um, when I did my check-in, which probably is just coincidental but strange nonetheless. Okay, and then for my owing, so it says I owe $121.57. This says I owe... $163.51. So $163.51 minus the $121.57 is $41.94, which is close to that $42.99. I bet that's a dollar and five cent difference. I don't know whether I should contact them because it seems like on my actual statement here, it seems like it's okay. So $121.57 is my current balance that it says on here, plus what it says I have available, equals 957.01 minus 1,000 equals the 42.99. I'm gonna use this sheet to um, calculate purchases. We'll do this down here. So So I decided to go through and add everything up again and then just to double check and make sure I did everything right. So if we take this number, 782.02 and subtract the needs and the wants, so 257.75 and 508.52, it should equal this 1575 because that wasn't included in the needs and wants, so I know that this is good. So now I'm gonna go through and add up payments. So my wants is way too high on this. Um, I definitely need to watch what I'm spending on. I'm not gonna worry about it too much for this month because a lot of the bigger stuff on here was dog food, which um, I think I'm gonna start including into my budget very soon here so that um, will be covered. It won't just be a MasterCard purchase that I'm paying off. It'll be expected and planned. Um, and then again, stickers, which I did intend which I did have money that was going for that. And then the big thing was the PlayStation stuff, which um, was planned, but not planned for well enough. I, I could have been saving up for this and I should have been, but um, it's a one-time thing that we knew we were doing, so I'm not too worried about that. So now I'm gonna take payments minus purchases. So $1,226.08. Minus seven hundred eighty-two dollars and two cents. So, um, taking off the purchases that I made, I was able to put four hundred forty-four dollars and six cents towards my Walmart Mastercard, which is awesome. I am totally okay with this. And I'm just gonna highlight this in green so I know that that was actually payment. Um, it wasn't uh, minus. So if it was a minus, then I know that my purchases exceeded my payments and I wasn't actually able to put anything towards my card. So um, it's still nice to see that this is a positive number by quite a bit. Um, this should actually be around 120, so I'm gonna get this paid down a little bit more to around $50. 
and then I'm gonna be really mindful of how I'm doing this and I'm gonna be really responsible with it and you guys will see that because I share everything with you. So that is it for Walmart MasterCard. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be going through my um, expense trackers and seeing what my spending was like for the remainder of the month and the beginning of June. So I did make my own expense tracking stickers. Don't mind the cat hair that clings to my sticker paper. So I've got some for each category and then I also have no spend stickers by Caffeinated Kate. So we're gonna be using these. I've got them all set up. We're gonna be going through by category. So starting with cab money, I didn't spend any cab money. So skipping to the next one, we've got lunch money and I did end up going back to work on the 29th. So we did spend a little bit. I didn't spend anything on the 29th, but I did on the 30th. So on the 30th, I spent $6.60 and this was for a breakfast drink and three pub style wings. Um, we just got the pub style wings back in the store and they used to be my favorite. So I was really excited to have some for lunch and I ended up paying for the ones that I bought, but I only ate one of them because they are just disgusting. I don't know what they changed about them, but it is not good. They literally tasted like socks is like the only thing that I could explain it as. And I was not a happy camper about it. Um, but lesson learned, I'm not going to be eating those. <laughs> and then on the 31st, I spent $2.10 on lunch. Um, this was for six hash browns and my coworker Chantel actually ended up buying pizza for all of us. It was pizza focused day and we had a whole pizza sitting there so she bought it and we all shared which was super kind of her. So that saved me some lunch money there. And then we're gonna skip over to June because on the first I spent $2.19 on lunch so pretty good amounts i'm happy with this i'm hoping that i can keep that up throughout june and this was just a parmesan leek pastry it helped that this that this day was like insanely ridiculously busy and then wednesday i did work too but it was so busy that i didn't even have time to eat anything so i didn't um just in case you're all curious about this page this was a page from when I started, when I kind of messed up, and I like to recycle paper, so um, so I just printed my June spending calendar on the back of that sheet. Okay, so let's come back to May. So groceries is next, and I didn't spend anything else for groceries, so moving on to takeout. So I spent a fair bit on takeout the last couple days. So on the first, I spent $11.54 on takeout. This was for... Um, a chicken sandwich and two pizza taquitos. So even though I didn't spend lunch money at Seb, I made up for it by taking a chicken sandwich home as takeout. And then I also got two taquitos for rain because he wanted some. I think what I'm going to do to make flipping back and forth between these a little bit easier is use one of my magnetic bookmarks to kind of clip the pages together. There. Okay, so the next takeout expense was on the second. So I spent $17.35. Um, it was, we had another sandwich promotion going on for every Wednesday this month. So this one is, uh, you can get two sandwiches for $8. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. So I brought some of those home because it was insanely hot and I knew Rain wouldn't want me using the stove or anything. And I was pretty tired, so I wanted to make supper easy on myself. So I just brought some of those home. And then today, today is actually the third, the last day of this paycheck. I spent $6.50 on takeout and this was for a coffee for rain this morning and a breakfast pizza. So that is it for takeout. So next up we have miscellaneous and we have quite a few of these. Okay so starting with May on the 28th um, we did our we did the budget check-in and I put my change that I had towards my change jar so there's a dollar seventy five there. And then the next one was on the second. So I spent $32.60 and this was for shorts um, for carbon. So this was definitely a much needed purchase considering how hot it is here now. Um, he had no shorts that fit him so I got him a few pairs of shorts. 
um, to last him a little bit anyways. I'll get him a few more um, as time goes because he's definitely going to need them. And then we're going to be closing the paycheck today. So I took the spare change out of my wallet and put that towards my change jar and that was $1.95. So that is it for miscellaneous. Next is beauty, which we didn't have anything there. And then after that is pet. So I did buy pet food on the 23rd. Um, for pet right now, it's just cat food. So I bought cat food on the 23rd. And then I also brought in my cat food sinking fund because I wanted to get the cats their specialty food. So on the second, so yesterday, um, I went and got that and it came up to $298.90. Um, I was originally budgeting around $300 for the three kinds of food. However, um, the one bag they gave me was just a medium sized bag and I like to get the large sizes. So I think what I'm either going to do is I'm going to up my sinking fund for this or I'm going to get medium sizes for the two types of food and a large size for the other type of food. So that is it for pet. So after that we've got bills and I only had one more bill expense and this was on the first. So I put another $200 towards my Walmart MasterCard. And that is it for expenses. So let's see if we've got any no spend days in here. We've got one, one no spend day. Could be better, could be worse, I suppose. I think I'm gonna count change jars as no spends too. If it's just a change jar expense, I'm gonna count this one because this technically isn't spending it on anything, it's just throwing it into my change jar to save it. So um, if I'm actually handing over money to someone where it leaves my bean, then I'm gonna count it, but this one I'm not going to count, so we're going to count that as two no spend days. So then let's see how many we had for the month of May. We've got nine, ten. That's pretty good, I think. If we flip back to April, we had seven no spend days in April, so that's pretty good. And I, I started um, doing the spending calendars on the 9th, so I don't have anything for these days. I could fill that out because I do know what I spent because it's on my trackers, but I'm not gonna bother. So I feel like that's pretty good. So we've got 10 no spends. That is awesome. So I'll see if I can beat that in June. So far there's no no spends in June though. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for the spending. So now that all that's taken care of, let's go ahead and close out the paycheck. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and highlight all of my expenses. Alright, so there is everything highlighted. So I still go through and highlight everything, although I do pull my numbers off of my no spend or my um what is it called? Spending tracker app. So I am really in love with this app. I already went through earlier today to make sure all of my ending numbers match. So I know that I've got all of my transactions in both places, so I know that I'm okay to go ahead and use this for grabbing numbers. It just saves so much time, it's so much easier, and this thing calculates the numbers for the most part as well. It saves me a lot of adding, which um, in turn kind of diminishes the possibility of having errors pop up. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I like to close my paychecks in a bullet journal. So I'm just gonna flip to May. So we're gonna do May paycheck number two which is all on this page. This is basically a um, kind of breakdown of the budget category breakdown sheet that uh, the budget mama gives you in the budget by paycheck workbook. And then this is just like a budget categories normal sheet, um, kind of like the, and then this is the equivalent of the where did my money go worksheet. So I'm gonna go through and put my numbers in here.
So now we're on all categories and all accounts. So this number right here should be what this stuff equals. So 6,518.77. I'm just gonna add these three numbers and make sure it equals that. So 14,2895 plus 71,36 plus 50, 18, 46, 6, 518.7, I think that was a seven, right? Looks like one, but yeah, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna set that off to the side for now. I think I might be done with it, I'm not really sure. I don't know if I can use it to figure out my income. So let's go to this budget here. This is the one that we are working on. It's May 21st to June 3rd. So our starting balance was our rollover, so that was $352.88. And then our incoming income is everything from that point on. So I'm going to go through my trackers for that. Okay, before we go any further, I just realized that I did my monthly income wrong because it's not monthly. This is weekly. We're closing the paycheck, not the month. Okay, so that's going to make a difference. Okay, so let's go back through these again. Okay, so we brought in May Challenge money. So that was 215. Okay, so that is it for that one. Um, we brought in the Cat Sinking Fund money, so that was 315. And this is this is part of why this month is going to look so crazy. Okay, there was no income that went into Debit Plus. So second paycheck from Sev was eight thirty two twenty six plus job number two's income. I got my tax return back, so that was two thousand one hundred forty nine dollars and eighty five cents. Um, my land tax sinking fund is not something you see when I do my envelopes. So when we do my budget and I put $125 for land tax and I mark that as a bill, this is actually technically a sinking fund. So I'm wondering if maybe I should actually list that in sinking funds or if it makes much of a difference because then it kind of looks like I'm paying this bill twice, I guess. But anyways, I brought that money in to cover the land tax. So that was $2,973.59. Um, I switched up my accounts this year and got newer accounts, so um, the government still had my old account for my tax return last year, so I had to update that, and for some reason updating that made it so that way the Alberta, uh, like the child tax and stuff, is going into my account now instead of Rain's, so I'm going to have to try and figure out how to fix that, but in the meantime, they're sending that to me, so that was $334.77. Okay, it's not much less crazy. And just to see if that's right, we had eight seven I'm just going by what's here, eight seven seven nine point nine four I think, minus two point eight eight minus nine six six five nine minus three twenty. Yeah, okay, so this is right. See, let's grab the weekly budget numbers. I'm just going to bring my spent down here for each category. Okay, there's that. So I'm going to go through and find the difference and the percent. So the difference is just taking your budget and subtracting what you spent and getting the difference. So for CAD, it would be $30. For lunch money, 
sure we're in frame here. So for lunch money, it would be 70 minus $10.89. So we have a difference of positive 59.11. And then how I'm gonna get the percent uh, is first figuring out my total income. Which we should probably do first. Jumping ahead here, because I feel a little flustered, but we're good, we got this. So for the difference, so I'm going to take this number, I'm going to put it on memory, and then I'm going to take my spent, so we'll do it for lunch money because cab is going to have zero, so 10.89 divided by memory recall equals, so this is not even a percent. So point zero zero one. I'll keep it like that. So I'm just going to go through and do this for everything. So there is all of the differences, all of the percentages. I do like to um, see what the percentage of my income spent is. So I spend 87% of my income, which is not where I'd like it to be. I like it to be at 80% or less if possible. Um, but considering everything going on during this pay period, that's not too bad, I don't think. see everything green we were within budget and then everything pink we were above budget so not very good So obviously I already knew with everything going on and everything that I didn't budget for, um, I knew that this would be way over. So this doesn't look too, too bad. Um, I still like the fact that my, what it says that my rollover should be is more than my planned rollover. So that's nice. Um, so now we're just going to go through and see what the actual rollover is because this is usually never very accurate. Okay, so we're going to be going through and seeing what we've got in the accounts. So we've got debit plus, basic savings. We're going to see what we have in change, cash, and then total. Okay, so for debit plus, let's start there. So we've got $24.64 in that account. And then basic savings, we've got $797.89 in that account. And then for change, that's this here. So one, two, three, four, five, we've got $6 in change. Actually, I think for this, I'm doing this the, the uh, check-in way. I'm going to count this towards um, change as well. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so it's actually $11. Okay, so for cash, we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 140. Okay, so the 140 plus $11 is going to be 51. Okay, so that's how much we have for cash. Um, I just, I need to know this for when I do my budget tomorrow when I get paid. So we've got the 151 plus 797.89 plus $24.64. Okay, so this is what we actually have. So I'm just gonna bring this back out. So our actual rollover is $973.53. So I have a little bit less. I already know this is gonna be off by a dollar and five cents. I think it's still only off by a dollar and five cents. So let's see. So nine, seven, four point five eight minus nine seven three point five three. Okay, so it's still only off by a dollar and five cents, and I think I'm missing a dollar and five cents. So one point zero five, and that's gonna be pink because it's missing. I know where the five cents went. Don't know where the dollar went. Probably just wrong change. Not really sure. Okay, so that is it for this. So now when I go to close the month, I can just use all of my numbers off of here, which is gonna be really nice. So then there's only one thing to do, and that's fill this out. So this is quite a mess because I was rushing, trying to get it done before we had to go pick up the little guy from school, but um, it wasn't working. So let's try this again. I'm confident enough in my numbers now that I'm gonna be using a permanent pen just to write over this, otherwise it's gonna be hard to see. I love these erasable pens, but I hate that they leave these smudges. And they don't always do that, it's just sometimes, and I don't understand why. Super annoying though. Okay, so let's start with the income. So we did spend $832.26 for Sev, and we did spend 320 for spend, and we did get 320 from job number two. Our rollover, of course, is always going to be what it actually was, but our other was different. So this was just the tax return. Um, I also brought in the May Challenge money, my cat sinking funds money, um, uh, my land tax money, and then um, I did get a payment from the government. So all of this equals 5,000, $988.21. So then everything added up here, our total income for the pay period was $7,493.35. Okay, so moving down to bills, we did put $125 towards land tax. I think in the future I might put this in sinking funds. That way it's not counted in my bills twice because technically, because we have actual land tax down here, and this one was $2,973.59. So technically each budget I'm counting $125 towards my land tax as a bill, and then I'm also counting it towards here as a bill. So I think I'm gonna change this to sinking fund for um, tomorrow's budget. Um, because I think that just makes the most sense because it is a sinking fund, technically. So um, Walmart MasterCard due is just there as a reminder. Benefits, um, I wasn't planning on paying this, but I actually did. So this was $284. And thinking about it now, I probably shouldn't have given Rain this money. I should have just kept it, but oh well. And then Fortnite crew, didn't do that. These I just have here as... Um, kind of notes to look back on um, just to see what the actual cost was for these so that way I can budget for them in the future. So I think this was it for our bills. We've got land tax, benefits, and land tax. So I'm just looking at a sheet of paper on the side here just to make sure I've got everything. So the total for this is $3,382.00. Okay, so coming down to here, we didn't spend anything for cab. 
Lunch money, we spent $10.89. Groceries, was $125.48. Takeout was $44.84. And then miscellaneous was $345.45. Didn't spend anything for beauty. And then pet was $356.65. So our envelope total for these is $883.31. So let's come up to sinking funds. There was no difference in sinking funds. So I know that these were accurate. Taxes is included in that. I think I might just start listing my land tax down here since it's more of like taxes I count as kind of like more like a bill land tax is a bill so I think I'm gonna count those as sinking funds under extra debt um, okay so Walmart MasterCard we actually put an extra $200 on that so that should be six thirty five eighty seven. dollars and then the total for these should be seven ten eighty seven. Okay, so coming down to the extra savings, um, we're gonna keep these three the same. So cushion, benefits, and tellus are gonna stay the same because that's how much we were saving for those. And then here is where the actual rollover is gonna go. So in the budget, I was estimating to have six hundred thirty seven dollars and twelve cents as a rollover. We have. After subtracting those, we have $663.53. So we were still, we still have a little bit more than I was planning. Not by a whole lot, but um, at least it's not less. So all of this added up should equal what our actual rollover is, which is $973.53. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. So let's take our income. So $7,493.35. And we're going to subtract the bills. So minus 3382.59. So this will be 400 or $4,110.76. Okay, then we're going to subtract the 883.31. These are $3,227.45. So we can bring that up here too. Okay, minus 1542. It's $1,685.45. Minus 71087. So this leaves us this $974.58. Minus 97353 equals a dollar and five. Okay, so this is what we actually have. This is what we should have had. So it's a dollar and five missing. So we're off by a dollar and five, and it's a dollar and five under what we should have. But other than that, that is everything. So it is really nice to see that um, everything kind of stayed in line. The stuff that I brought into the budget pretty much covered what it was meant for. And then I did pay rain the benefits as well. So that's an extra $284 that I wasn't really planning to spend. So. Yeah, that is it for this budget. Those are the numbers. Um, I feel like it was really crazy and I'm looking forward to having a really simple budget <laughs> starting tomorrow 
with uh, just just normal. I want to go back to normal. This is just too much. Um, it's going to be nice to look at though because now I'll always know what day my land tax comes out and then um, I'll always have the full amount ready to go by the time this is ready to pop up in our bills. So that'll be really nice and then there's just so much saving that I'm going to do towards next year that after taxes come out next year, I'm really hoping to be able to have another crazy month like this with purchases, but it's going to be furniture. So that'll be really nice. Um, so it's going to be a year of saving for that as long as everything goes well, fingers crossed. But yeah, that is it for my budget. Thanks for putting up with me and all the crazy chaos that this one was. Um, <laughs> Yeah, here's to a simpler budget for June. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like the video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Um, I would love to have you along for my budgeting and planning journey. But yeah, that's everything. As always, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.